Good morning, everybody. Coach Yvonne from Method 3 Fitness, and we're doing OCR full body workout today. I'm out on my deck. It's a little cloudy, but hopefully I'm still nice and clear and you can see me. I wore shorts so you could see my neon white legs so they would stand out so it would be easier to see the exercises. If that didn't make you laugh, there's something wrong. Please laugh. Okay, so we've got four exercises for your warm up. We're going to do a squat progression. We're going to do a high plank progression. We're going to do a glute bridge progression, and then we're going to do icky shuffle. So each round, I'll show you a little bit different variation of the exercise that we're doing. For the first round, you're just doing regular squats. I want you to open up the chest. Those of you who have been with me know how important it is. Please rotate those shoulders, stretch that chest as you go. The first round on the high plank, just the high plank. I just want you on your hands and hopefully toes. All right? If this is not okay for you, go ahead and bring it down for the knees. If for some reason you can't do high plank, if it's too much for your wrist, please feel free to come down to low plank on toes or knees, all right? Either way is fine. First round of the glute bridge, you're just gonna be regular glute bridge. Hips up, drop, and push. Toes are off the floor, heels are under the knees. And then your icky shuffle, taking it to this side. That's it. By the way, equipment, I forgot to talk about equipment. You can see I have a couple different med balls different weights. If you don't have a med ball, it's okay. You have a weighted object that helps. I have a water bottle. It weighs about eight pounds. If I filled it with sand, it would probably weigh a lot more. You can get a backpack and put some things in it to make it heavy like iron skillets or books. I also have a little kettlebell. My kettlebell is about 35 pounds. You can go way lighter. I have a dumbbell and I have another med ball up here. So some type of weighted objects would be good. It really doesn't matter what they are. You can utilize any of those objects that I talked about in this workout. All right, I'm gonna get you set up for your warm up. <laughs> we got 40 seconds of work. We have a 12 second transition time. Somewhere in during that warm up, I'm gonna put my hair up. Don't be shocked, I'm the same person, I promise. Just playing with you. All right, here we go, 40, 12. We've got four exercises. We're doing three rounds of those exercises, which makes it 12. My math is good today. All right, so here we go. Rest between rounds is 12 seconds, not 10. We're gonna hear that 10 second countdown. You're gonna hear the three, two, one, and then we're gonna start with that simple squat. And I can't see you if three, I'm not there. Two, here we go. One, go. Excellent. Now remember when you're doing your squat, sit back in that squat, please. Let's not do this. Get the butt going, all right? That's what you're doing. If it was the middle of the night and it was dark and you weren't allowed to turn the lights on and you had to find the toilet, you would back up to it. So do that, back up to the toilet. Keep going, make sure you're opening up the chest right here. Excellent work team, keep it going. How is your breathing? Are you breathing? Or are you holding your breath? Come on, give me a nice Three, normal pattern two, of breathing. One, rest. Excellent. Now remember, we're going into that high plank progression. So first round, just high plank, hands and toes, hands and knees, or elbows. Three, if you need two, to elbows. one, Pull those shoulders go. away from those ears, slightly bring that body forward. Engage the lats, engage the abs, engage the glutes, engage the legs. Head is coming straight out of your body, like a turtle coming out of its shell. Hold that form and breathe. Uh -huh. That's right. You got to breathe. On all of that, you still have to breathe. Now, if this is a little too much, but not enough to bring you to your knees, try taking your feet a little bit wider. It'll give you a more st stable base. You've got about 10 more seconds here. Yeah, this hair needs Three, to Three, two, one, rest. All right, knees down. Take it onto your back. We're starting our glute progression with just a regular glute bridge. Heels under those knees. Three, Abs two, engaged. one, go. To the top and right here. Just regular glute bridge. Drop and push. Please try not to touch the floor. Keep your glutes up off that floor. I know somebody did it. Drop just down above the floor and come back up again, but don't hit the floor. All right? Keep those glutes working the entire time. Don't let them rest. 
Control the down, squeeze on the up. Keep it going. Hopefully those abs are still engaged. Woo, 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent, we're gonna bring it back up. I'm gonna do that achy shuffle. Three, two, one, go. There we go. my hair and do this at the same time we'll find out Woo! fitness tricks all right i'm so busy getting all my equipment together i forgot all about my hair there we go come on get those arms pumping let's get that heart rate up Three, two, one, rest. Excellent, squat progression. We're gonna come from here to up on the toes and hands over, taking it to a power squat. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Keep it going. Get that heart rate up a little bit more. It's amazing. We're not even really moving that fast. Just taking those arms up over that head helps to get that blood pumping. Your body is like, oh, my hands are way up in the air. And this Three, gotta get some blood up two, there. one, rest. Fantastic. All right, high plank regression. Opposite shoulder tap. So you can take it to that high plank. Tap that opposite shoulder. Three. I want two, to hit stay one, go. I'm coming to look at you. I don't want to see you rocking. Beautiful, George. Looks good, Dan. Nice, Linda. Excellent, Amanda. Woo. Excellent, Emily. Looks good, Maria. Good job, Pete. Excellent, Pete. Oh, goodness gracious. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. We're going to take it back down on our back. Fluid progression, one leg. Pick a leg. You're just going to do one leg on this side. Next round, we'll do the Three, two, Put that one, one there. go. Bring it up. Let's go right here. I'm still on my heel on that one leg. You might notice your range of motion might get a little smaller. That's okay. Work where you're at. Those abs are still engaged. Keep moving. Again, try not to touch the floor with those glutes. Trying to keep them up off that ground. Just come down a little bit. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. All right, come on up. You got a lopsided icky to do because you only worked one side of those glutes, but that's all right because you can do a lopsided one on the other side next round. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Now try to sit down a little bit in that leg when you pop that knee. Get that quad going on the opposite side. Maya's getting warm out here already. And here I thought with all this cloud cover, I was gonna stay nice and cool. Ha! Keep it moving. You got about eight seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, progression on that squat. You're gonna try to do overhead squat. So you're going to try to keep those hands up overhead throughout the squat. Three, two, Open the feet one, a wider. go. Give me straight drop down and bring it up. If you can't do that one, if it feels uncomfortable for you, feel free to keep the hands at the shoulders 
and then just push up at the top with that power squat like we were doing before. Excellent. Looks good. Good job, team. Now remember, this is still a squat. Don't go so far that you're in plie. You're still in squat. Just take three, it. two, a one, bit rest. Excellent. All right, taking it down. Your plank progression is now plank up. So you can start in high plank position. Take it down to low plank three, position. Two, take it up. One, Got it? go. Let's go. Alternate the side you drop on. Okay. I'm gonna come look at you. Again, keep those hips stable. No rocking. If you're rocking, take it to the knees. Nice, Linda, Dan, George, good. Amanda, good. Nice, Emily, Maria, Pete, good job. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, okay. rest. All right. Get the other side of that group bridge. Whichever leg you took up last turn, you got the opposite one this time. I hope you kept track. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Woo. Almost there, come on, 10 more seconds. Five. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. All right, we got that lopsided dicky on the other side. Now because we work the other side of the glutes, last dicky shuffle. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, done. Excellent. Go ahead and shake that off. Get a little sip of water if you need it. I know I do. And then I'll tell you about our circuit. All right. You're still going to need your mat, so make sure you work it into your station. Your first exercise, I want you to use a lighter weight because this first exercise is going to be expanded on in our finisher, okay? So don't work yourself to death on this particular exercise. We're going to do what I call med ball atlas squats. If you do not have a med ball, you can use a weight. I will show you how to use the weight. I'm gonna put the dumbbell over here so I can show you how to use that as well, all right? If you do have a med ball, you're gonna kneel in front of your med ball on one knee. Take a knee, it matters. Then you're going to lean yourself back. You're going to roll that ball up your leg just to your pelvis. Keep the arms long. Stand up. Squat. Gently put that ball down. Take another knee because it matters. Roll that up your leg. Keep it down here on your pelvis. Take it up and squat. You're going to keep doing that. Back and forth for 45 seconds. Got it? Second exercise. Oh, I forgot. I told you I'd show you with the dumbbell. Simple. You're going to do the same thing. The only difference is obviously you cannot roll. So just grab it here, bring it up, do your squat, and switch. If you want to go a little further, lay the dumbbell down so that you have to come back more, get a hold of it, and then come up. All right? Second exercise is your traveling push up. So you're going to do one push up here. 
Then you're gonna take a step over and here. Now technique, take your leg that's on the side you wanna move and move it first. Take the opposite arm from the other direction and bring it over to your push up. All right, so the leg in the direction that you're going, opposite arm move first. Then the other arm and leg, do your push up. Back and forth, one, 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 one. Third exercise, alternating lateral lunge and clean. Dumbbell or kettlebell works really well for this one. Okay, you're gonna take your lunge to the side, clean up to the top. Lunge to the side, clean up to the top, all right? Now notice I start with my thumbs on top of my dumbbell. As I clean, they end up under my dumbbell. Okay, so there's a little bit of a toss here to transfer that weight. All right, so using a kettlebell, your hands go from top of the kettlebell to the bottom sides. A little pop to get there, all right? So those are your two moves with those two pieces of equipment. Backpack from the top to the bottom of the sides. And then your last exercise is a leg lower and lift. So you're gonna start here. You can put your hands underneath just below your hips if you like for support. Push those abs down into the floor. Shoulders and head off the floor. You're gonna lower as far as you can. My weights are in the way. As you come up, give me a lift. Now pull the abs in to pull your pelvis up. It's not pushing your feet to the, to the ceiling. It's a push, pull with the abs to get that pelvis to come up and slightly push the feet towards the ceiling. Now, if that's too much, just do one leg and bring it up and come up. One leg, bring it up and come up. All right, that's your workout. We got 45 seconds of work, 12 seconds of transition time. Get your station fixed and set up so that you can utilize it properly. Woo! All right, and we've got three rounds. So that's 12, my math's still working. Hey, hey. All right, we got a 10 second countdown. Remember, you're starting with that little atlas squat. Three, two, one. Go. Here we go. Take it down. Roll it back. Stand it up. Squat and switch. Now remember what I told you. Stay late. I mean light because you are going to use this in your finisher. And I'll expect you to try to go heavier in the finisher. All right? Woo! unless you want to do opposite. You want to go heavy right now and then go light in the finisher? You can do that. I guess I shouldn't totally Three, control what you Three, two, doing. one, rest. Excellent. We're moving into those traveling push-ups. You got this. Now you can also do those from your knees. I forgot to Three, show you. Three, two, Just pop up one, that high plank. Go. go on the knees. Push up, come up in the high plank. Come over, knees. Over, keep going like that, if that's what you need to do. You work where you need to work today. Now come look at Jeff, see how you're doing on this one. Excellent, George. Looks good, Maria. Nice, Pete. Excellent. Emily, try to get your butt down a little more. Stay in that plank position when you move back and forth. Linda, good. Dan, good. Three, two, Amanda, one. good. Rest. Excellent. Rest. Take it into the alternating lunge and clean. Take your poison. Three, two, one, go. There we go. I'm starting with my dumbbell because it's a little bit lighter than my kettlebell. And then I'm going to move into my kettlebell on my next round. I just want to get that inner outer thigh warmed up a little more with the weight. Make sure my core is acting like it's supposed to. In other words, making sure I'm paying attention to my core. Keep moving. I'm going to take a peek at you.
Nice, Linda. Looks good, Dan. Nice, George. You got it, Amanda. Good. Nice, Emily. Three. Good, Maria. Two, nice, Pete. One, good. Watch rest. that posture. Make sure you keep those shoulders pinned back on that one. All right. We're down to our leg lowering. Take it down to the floor. Three, Next two, up. one, shoulders off the go. Floor. Let's go. Take it down as far as you can without that back lifting off the floor. Bring it up. Pull those abs in. Slightly lifting that pelvis. Getting those glutes off the floor. Keep going. If that's too much, go to one leg. Nice. Good job, Pete. Good job, Maria. Nice, Emily. Got it, Amanda. Good job. Nice, George. Looks good, Dan. Nice, Linda. Watch that back. Make sure you're keeping that back pressed into that floor. Three, two, one. Rest. Excellent. We are back to those netball atlas squats. Come on up. Taking a knee. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Try to keep it even. Try to make sure you end on the opposite side you started. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right, we are resting. We're going back to those traveling push ups. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Ten seconds or fifteen, rather. I forgot. We're on forty-five seconds now. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right, we got that alternating lunge in between. I'm gonna step it up to my kettlebell. Three, two, one, go. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Woo! It's heavy. These little T-Rex kettlebells are so deceptive. They're little compared to some of the other brands. You think they're going to be lighter than they are. You pick it up and you go, ooh, that's a little heavy. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right, I got that leg lowering to do. Take it down. Woo. Legs up. Three, Body two, up. one, floor. go. Here we go. That movement with those legs at the top should be very small because all you're doing is crunching those abs in. Push those abs to the floor. Keep them there. Keep them stable all the way through. You got this. 10 seconds. Five. Three. Two, one, rest.
last. All right, we're back to the beginning one more time on this one. Woo! Hopefully you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Three, two, one, go. There we go, take a knee. Ah, whoops. Scooped up my mat. Now you might wonder why I call this an atlas squat, because the ball never makes it to our shoulders. And when you think atlas, you think shoulder, right? Shoulder mount. Because we use an atlas ball in no CR races to do a carry. And this is the best way to pick it up if it's really heavy for you. Get down on your knee. Three, your leg, two, and stand one, up. rest. Woo! All right, we're back to that traveling push up. Last time for those. Come on. You don't ever have to do this exercise ever again. Three. Today. Two. Come on. One. Here we go. Go. Nice solid core. Traveling over. Getting that plunge up in. Traveling back. Now remember, if that push up and plank aren't looking solid. You can stop traveling and you can take it to your knees, all right? Got about 10 seconds. Three, two, one, Woo! rest. All right, lateral lunge and clean. One last time for this one too. Three, Shoulders down two, back. one, that go. Strong core. Come on. If your posture is good, chances are your core is good. So check where those shoulders are. Check where your head is. Are those abs? Pay attention. All right, I'm going to peek at you guys because I haven't peeked at you for this particular exercise. Good, Linda, sit back in that butt. Good. Dan, George, Amanda. Three. Nice, Emily. Two. Nice, one. Maria. Good peek. Rest. All right. Woo. What do we got now? Leg lowering. Last one here. I seem to keep one. Three. Two. One. Go. Here we go. Lower it with control. Bring it back up and pull it in. Try to get the butt just a little bit off the floor by pulling in with those abs. Nice and slow. Don't let momentum take over. You work both directions of this exercise. Everything's in control. No swinging. Come on. How are those abs? How's that back? Is it imprinted into the floor? Come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one, done. Oh, we finished the circuit. Hooray. All right. That Atlas carry we've been doing, if you want to continue it the same way you can, if you made a decision to go heavy on the first round and you want to go lighter on this round, you can. I'm going to go heavier. I'm going to take a big mama here and get busy with her. So what you're going to do on this one, we're going to travel with this a little bit. Some of you have done this with me before. So you're going to come down for that atlas carry. You're going to roll your ball. I'm not doing any extra, okay? So you're going to have to just trust this insulation. Roll up like you've been. Come up. And then you're going to carry. I'd like you to take at least six steps. And if that means for you walking in a circle because you have a small space, then walk in a circle. Then you're going to do that same squat to lower that ball. Then you're going to roll it up the other knee, right? Come up. And you're going to take that walk in a circle. Go the opposite direction if you're doing circle. If you're going back and forth, it's easy. Just go back the other direction. Do that nice squat, put it down, and start again. Oh. 
gosh, I almost forgot. When you get to that side, do five burpees before you pick the ball back up. When you get to this side, do five burpees before you pick the ball back up. So carry the ball, do five burpees, pick it up, carry the ball. Do five burpees, carry the ball. We're gonna do this on wrap, am wrap, I'm sorry, as many rounds as possible. We're gonna work for three minutes. Just three little minutes. You can do it. All right, here we go. I got a 10 second countdown going. You hear three, two, one, and then you go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Oh, goodness gracious. Put it down nice and gentle. It's a baby. Don't drop it. Five burpees. We got the demo. Burpees for anybody who doesn't know what a burpee is. I'm sorry. What an irresponsible instructor I am. I just assume that everybody loves burpees as much as I do, and that you all know what they look like. But if you need to modify that burpee, remember, you can go here if you need to, and you can also walk them out here if you need to. All right? Keep going. You can slow down if you need to. But don't stop. You're more than two minutes in. Woo! I'm going to unmute you. I need you to catch your breath just a little bit. When I say last set, I want to hear you guys say best set. And I mean, I want to hear all of you. So one, two, three, let's set. Let's set. Woo. Excellent. That's right. You said it. Come on. I heard best set, not sloppy set. Let me see your posture. I want to see everything good. Come on. You got three. Three, two, two one. one. Done. Woo. You made it, team. Excellent work. Very proud of this team today. Showing up. Making it happen on a Saturday morning. I know some days it's easier just to forego. <laughs> All right. Join me, please join me. I'm gonna sit down on my mat. Right here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take it to my side because I'm gonna start with my quads. We did a lot of quads today. So feel free to get comfortable and pull back on that top leg. Get that quad stretch going. Ah. Feels good to be done, doesn't it? Get a chance, if you're not outside already, try to get outside for a little bit. It's beautiful. The breeze is nice and cool from that fog bank coming in. The sky is clearing up now. All right, go ahead and release. Let's take it around to the other side. We'll stretch that other quad out. The beautiful thing about this stretch is you can also get that hip flexor if you really pull the leg back. Woo. 
And if you uh, need more stretching today, remember Keith does stretching at the end of the day. You can join him for that. And release. He thought might be next, actually, at 930. Yep. All right, so together, walk your glutes towards them. If this is not easy to maintain posture with your arms forward, please feel free to take the hands behind you, pull the shoulders down and back, bring that chest up nice and high. And then try to breathe and just let the knees fall naturally. Try to relax. Let go. I know, it's not always an easy thing to do. Beautiful. Let's extend one leg out, the right leg. Bring the left leg in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Bring it across. You get a nice twist in here. Get the outside of that leg. If you pull in a little. And release. Find a comfortable position for you, whatever that looks like. Real quick. Take it across one side. Stretch the back side of those shoulders. Take it behind the head. Get a little tricep, push that head back. Release. Other side. Pull through those shoulders a little bit. Get back behind that head. Push that head back. Release, last stretch. Come up onto those knees. We're gonna do double duty today. Pull down and back. Pull those shoulders down and back. And at the same time, I want you to give me a little bridge out. There we go. Stretch the front part of that body. Pull down out of those shoulders. Very slowly and gently come back to the top. Release those arms. And give yourself a hand. Excellent work today, team.